Hey guys, so I thought I'd come on here and make a video about my experience today. Um, just, just because I really was not prepared for it. And um, if I can help anyone in any way to better prepare themselves for uh, this procedure, um, it will definitely help in the long run. So, um, I had a gynecology appointment today. I've been waiting months and months and months for this appointment. And so, finally I got a call uh, a couple weeks ago and the appointment was made for today. Um, the receptionist didn't mention anything to me. Um, and then when I called to confirm my appointment, it, again, nothing was told to me what I was going to have done or expect. Um, so I, I honestly think maybe the doctor just decided to do it today um, and the receptionist didn't know. So I'm not gonna hold too much of a grudge there. Just a minute, Abigail. I'll do up your jacket in just a minute. We're going to leave in just a few seconds, okay? So, basically, um, I went in to um, get some options and talk about what, t um, what, what my options are in terms of my heavy menstrual cycle. And um, so, I mean, the doctor and I did concur that probably the best option for me because of uh, my age and I'm um, I'm already finished having children and um, contraceptive in terms of uh, hormonal contraceptive as well as um, having an IUD probably isn't the best form of treatment for me because I'm not um, I don't necessarily need that kind of anything so basically what we concurred about is to have a surgical procedure called an endometrial ablation meaning they remove that endometrial layer by burning it away cauterizing my uterus so to speak and that'll be done like surgical procedure under general anesthetic and everything so I won't feel anything there but anyway so she said today I'm gonna do a pap because you're due for one anyway so I was like, okay, I was prepared for that. And then she said, and we're also going to do a u uterine uh, biopsy, uter uterine biopsy um, to test for cancerous cells and what have you. And that I was not prepared to hear. Um, it's not as simple as just having a pap. It, it is more invasive. Um, they actually had to um, put a tube through my cervical opening and scrape the inside of my uterus all the while no anesthetic no local freezing or anything so it really did hurt quite a lot um now mind you it it only did take about 10 to 15 seconds for her to complete the procedure but oh my goodness i was in agony it really does hurt it kind of it felt to me now again, everyone's different, um, so some people may have had it and find that it was fine for them. Um, to me, it felt like someone was taking a hot poker and scraping the inside of my uterus with it or cutting the inside of my uterus with it. It really hurt and I could feel it. Like I've never felt pain like that inside of me before and I never want to feel it again. Um, really was not prepared um she didn't spend too much time explaining the procedure to me very much um just said that i would feel some discomfort and pressure and poking and pinching but no it was and i felt bad for abigail because when she was doing it i was kind of vocal and saying it hurts that really hurts that really hurts um and poor abigail was with me um, because I, again, I really wasn't prepared to have these things done. Um, you know, pap smear, that's, that's one thing. This, that's another, and really I should not have had her there with me, but, you know, what's done is done. Um, anyhow, 
So my recommendation to anyone that may be getting this procedure done, if you know that this is what's going to be going on, um, maybe discussing with your doctor about a local anesthetic or um, taking some pain medicine before you even go might be a good idea just because there is a lot of cramping after as well. Um, and also taking a panty liner with you um, because you're not allowed to use any tampons after. You're not allowed to have sex after. Um, so having a panty liner because you do bleed afterwards as well because they are cutting the inside of your, they're taking a layer of your uterus out to test the, the cells. Um, so there is bleeding as well as they are opening your cervix. So anytime you play around with that, there's going to be a little bit of bleeding as well. So if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, or you want to leave your experience as well, um, please feel free to do so. Um, and I hope you're all well and, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.